Hi, I'm Sarah Jane at Natural Heating and tonight I'm going to show a special little trick with you. I'm going to cook some scones, some homemade scones in a wood burner. Yep, in a wood burner and we're not going to burn them, we hope. So basically I've got some scone dough that I've made up. No scone cutter, so they've just been cut into funny shapes with a knife because I'm at work and it's late and it's kind of what I do and I'm hungry. Anyway, let me show you what we're going to do. So this is my large wham that I've got as a working like display module and it's been burning all day since about eight o'clock this morning. We've got our scones, not cooked yet obviously. And I've got my hill fire grill base inside the stove. Now I've got fire burning to the side and just a few red embers underneath. And what I'm gonna do is take a cold pizza stone. If this ever gets dirty, by the way, just turn it over and put some fire underneath it and burn it off. Never ever wash it. So I'm going to take my scones and I just tend to cook them fresh two at a time and put them on my cold pizza stone. This is a seven inch stone and I'm going to cook them in a seven inch base. And I'm, I'm trying to film myself, so it's not the best video. But what we do is I'm going to open the stove door with one hand. Prime it for a couple of seconds before fully opening the door. There's not much fuel in there, just enough to keep it going. And put the stone in cold on top of the grill base. Now, my idea with this is that the heat from the bottom and the top of that grill will cook at the same time and my scones rise and I don't burn them. So, I don't know, it's gotta be about five or 600 degrees centigrade in there. Bit hotter than your standard oven. Um, they don't take too long, they take about five minutes. You can literally watch them growing in front of your eyes. Um, you can already probably see, I can't get them too close with the phone because basically my phone alarm goes off because I get it too hot. Let's see if we can stand back a bit and zoom in. But you'll see, especially that one at the back, I can see the top already starting to expand. They literally start expanding in front of your eyes. They really don't take long. So the air has turned quite well down on this one. And um, there we go. You can see. So five minutes-ish. We'll come back in a minute and see how they're doing. So here's a little interim shot. We are about two minutes and 30 seconds. And they're starting to crust up quite nicely and colour quite nicely. As you can probably see through the door, you see that they're coloured up pretty quick. What I'll probably do is give these about another 30 seconds and then I think I'll flip them over for just a minute maybe and they'll probably be done. So they'll probably be done in about three and a half minutes, these ones, with any luck. Okay, so I couldn't video the last few seconds because I had to turn them over with the pizza peel um, and flip them upside down. But I'm just going to video these so you can see how quick they come on and firm and colour up. And they're going pretty quick. So the, the top side, which is currently the bottom, is pretty well done. These are thick. These are going to be towering really big scones. So they're cu I cut them to, I don't know, over an inch high. They're now well over two inches high. We'll hopefully see the difference when they come out. I'm going to have to turn them round gently again because I don't want the sides burnt. So I'm just going to move them with my pizza peel and just give them a burl round. Just so that there's not too much near the fire at the same time. way they don't burn. I only ever do two scones at a time. I don't see the point in them doing them too quick. Don't mush them. They only take a few minutes. Cook them fresh every time. Far better that way. Have them hot while you want them and hopefully by the time these are done we will give them a minute or two to cool down while I make a cup of tea and then I'll have a scone for dinner. Yum yum. We've even got some homemade jam. It's bake-off night tonight so I thought I'd just do a bit of um fire cooking. Right, I'd say these two little beauties are about ready because it's bloody hot on there so you need to be careful but they don't wobble. They're quite solid now. They're not, they're, they'll be fluffy but they look fairly well done to me. So I just left them out like that with the pizza peel 
I'm gonna shut the door. And there you go. You see the difference between my baked ones and my not baked ones. So I'm not going to do another two just yet. And the reason for that is this stone is red hot. If I bake more scones on that stone, I'm going to burn them because that stone is far too hot. So what I'm now going to do is slide my pizza peel underneath my pizza stone, which is sized to match. Oh, I've got some crumbs on there that are going to burn now. So scrape them off. Lift the stone out with the peel. And my hearth is a solid construction hearth and it's not too hot. I'm just going to put that hot pizza tile down there. And I can either use another one and put a cold one in, or I can wait till it's cooled down and then do another two. Night -night. Right, so just so you can see, there's no cheating. This is the two scones, it's just out the wood burner. See, if I can do this with one hand, you will see. Oh, heck, it's not easy. Anyway, I'm going to drop that on the floor. They are totally well done through. So we're just going to shove some butter on there and some homemade jam. This is um, bramble, apple and fuchsia berries. Yeah, made out of fuchsias as in the flowers. And I'm going to have one of them for my dinner tonight with a cup of tea and then get on with the rest of your quotes that for you, though, for you that are waiting on them. So sorry if you think it's taking me so long. I'm still at work working. So this is dinner tonight.